Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to show you a second Ava's Country Cupboard haul. I have yet to melt anything even though I already have placed a second order, which I know is crazy, but but the free shipping got me like she had free shipping and she just so happened to have a restock while I was like on Facebook and I just couldn't I couldn't resist. I loved all the stuff in my first order on cold even though I haven't had to melt anything so I'm excited about it this time I did get a business card this time and this is all her information here uh, she has a Facebook group and she also has an Instagram which I did not know um, so she has an Instagram and she has a Facebook group and as always with all the wax vendors I would always say to make sure you join the Facebook group to stay like really in the know and to be able to participate in polls or whatever else that they have. Um, the Facebook group is really the way to go. But a lot of them don't have, um, a lot of them have Instagram. So if you do not want to get Facebook, then you do not have to. So we'll just go ahead and jump right in. Again, any order that you place, anytime you place an order that's $25 or more, you do get free shipping. And her wax is priced so so well so I'm not gonna go over prices and ounces on this video if you want to know how much each shape is and how much the ounces are then you can go ahead and watch um, or then you might want to watch the very first Avis Country Cupboard haul because in that one I have ounces for every shape and then the prices so it's more of like a, a breakdown but for this one I'm just gonna do you know the scents and you know my normal Thing. So we'll just jump right in. This one is Holiday Balsam. I do not have scent notes for the samples. So this is Holiday Balsam and it smells like cinnamon and pine or Christmas tree. It smells really good but it's strong on the on like the Christmas tree type scent. So that is that one. This next one is Frosted Plum Tart. And it really just smells like a, like a sweet, warm plum scent. That's a nice one. This next one here is Buttercream Crunch Tea Cakes. And I was expecting not to like this one because I don't really care for buttercream. But this actually smells pretty good. The buttercream is not too heavy at all. And I think you get that tea cake scent more than anything. So that is a really nice one. And this next one is Whipped Spearmint or Whipped Cream Spearmint. And this one to me smells like gum. It just smells like a, I don't want to say creamy gum, but like a softer spearmint gum. So that is all my samples. I got four samples, which is awesome. I love getting samples. And then when you get four, that's just crazy. So very first scent I have here is gingerbread ice cream. I really like her gingerbread scent. It's really, really good. And this is basically sweet vanilla ice cream and baked gingerbread cookies. She does have the pour dates on the back. So this is the front. There's this two little men or gingerbread. And it's really good. Smells like a sweet gingerbread <laughs> scent. It's so, so good. I Like I said, if you like gingerbread scents or you want to try some, I would definitely recommend trying hers because she has a really good gingerbread scent. Next one here is Main Street Christmas and these little grubby hearts. And this is mold citrus fruits, cinnamon, cloves, snickerdoodles, and Christmas tree. And this one smells really good. It smells like you can get the clove and the cinnamon. And then you can get like the Christmas tree. I don't get cookies or anything like that. But it smells like a sweet, um, like a sweet Christmas tree spicy scent, if that makes sense. Next one is Pepperberry Wreath. And this one is Fur and Berries. And this one's really good. And it does say Fur and Berries, but I don't know if it's like spicy or if the fur is just, maybe that's the difference between fur and like a Christmas tree. But it actually smells really, really good. I hate all the crinkling that I'm doing, but 
I'm saving myself like an extra, like two extra steps by doing this right now, so sorry. This next one is Winter Candy Apple. This is a Bath and Body Works dupe. And it smells like, it really smells like Winter Candy Apple. Oh, it's so good. I love that scent so much. It is a bit perfumey, so if you do not like perfumey scents, you might not like that one. But good thing is, is if it's in the holidays or whenever you see it in Bath and Body Works, you can always walk in and smell it before you purchase it. This next one is Lavender Wishes. And this is Milky Soft Vanilla, I mean, Milky Soft Lavender with hints of sugar and vanilla. And this does smell like, you can say like milky soft or something. But the lavender to me is a little bit on the herbal side. And I don't really get too much of that vanilla now. This is on cold, I've never melted in. It has long has it cured. It was just poured on the 15th, so. I mean, it smells really good. It smells good. And if you like herbal lavender, I think you would definitely like this one. But it is on the herbal side. Next one here is Pink Noel, which is pink sugar and vanilla bean Noel. And it actually smells really good. Ugh. It smells like just straight pink sugar to me, but I love pink sugar, so. Next one is Autumn Rain. And it is Fallen Leaves, Hay, hay Bales, Fresh Stacked Wood, and Crisp Autumn Air. And this to me, I can see, like Kim Hart's organizing got this one and she says it smells masculine. I can totally see where she gets that from. To me, it smells like a masculine like laundry detergent or like a masculine dryer sheet, if that makes sense. You don't get hay, you don't get leaves, you don't get wood. It smells like, like a masculine scented dryer sheet, except very lightly, like very, very, very lightly masculine. I feel like I get the masculine note because she said it, so I was already expecting it to be kind of masculine, but I think maybe with that leaves is why it's making it a little bit masculine to me. Next one here is another winter candy apple, but it's in this jumbo or this extra large snowflake shape. I'll just put that there. Um, Celebrate Christmas in a big poinsettia. And this one is fruit, spices, caramelized sugar, and a hint of white musk. And this one smells good. You can definitely get the, like the fruits and the spices and the musk. I don't really get caramelized sugar. I don't smell like caramel, even though it doesn't say caramel. Next one I have here are these super cute paw prints. And they're a pretty decent size. I don't have a big hand, so it's not like I can say my hand's big, but but like even up here, like my fingers. And this is the way you can get like a lot of one scent without having to buy like 50 of one shape. Is these six packs of like the little paw prints. And this is in Goodnight Kisses, which is vanilla, lavender and marshmallow and this one is really really good this one i guess her ab her ab oh my gosh i cannot speak her lavender tends to lean more on the herbal side but with the vanilla and the the marshmallow it really does sweeten it up but this one is really really good this is my favorite uh lavender blend that i got from her even though i've only tried two so the very last one that I have here is Fizzy Soda Pop, and it is Fizzy Lemon Lime Soda. And I love fizzy scents and lemon and, and lemon and lime, so this is just perfect. This is so, so, so good. Ugh, it smells exactly the way it sounds, and it's amazing. So that is everything that I got. And I'm pretty sure she's going to have another restock. Hopefully, I can have the video uploaded before then. But I haven't even uploaded the very first video. So, 
She's going to have another restock on the 31st, I believe, or the 30th. If you go to her website, which is Ava Country Covered, which is this right here, avascountrycovered.com, I'll try and, and put it down below in the description. Um, she has it, as soon as you go to her website, it, it um, shows up there when the next restock is. And I did say in my previous video that I think her website was open like 24 7 except when she did a restock but it's not so like the past three days her website's been closed so I guess she just opens it like obviously for her restocks and until like everything sells out and then I guess she just closes it so I'm not sure if there's any you know pros here that shop from Ava's a lot go ahead and leave us down that information in the comments below but thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, and have a great day.